Reaction up there, you get a little nervous there at the end? Uh, not too nervous. Um, you know, I, th I thought we had a great chance to make it a great RPI, um, great home record, 13 wins in the Pac-12. I thought we had a great chance of making it. And, um, like, I'm just excited to win right now. There's no, there's no upset or bitter thing. We made it. Uh, What's it like to be, you know, you guys are in the first four, but, you know, you had BCU last year that went to the final four from that spot. Um, it's it's not really too much thoughts. It's all basketball now. No matter no matter what you how you look at it, where you're at, uh, it's all basketball now. Um, we have a tough you know South Florida team. It's just a, just another basketball game that we have to win, and um, we're not looking forward to uh, looking forward to anything. Just play the game that we have to play. Do you know anything about USF? Have you seen them play at all this year? Um, I've caught glimpses of the games, uh, not too many of them. Um, all I know is they're on the bubble, just like, you know, a little bit how we were, so um, that's, I don't know too much about Leading up to today, do the players spend a lot of time looking at brackets and projections and seeing where they might go? I mean, uh, kind of a little bit. You you know, you focus on the big team, Duke and North Carolina, and, you know, those type of guys, and um, you see where you face up with those guys. But it looks like we're pretty – we have, a, we have a good chance to go far. Um, we play uh, South Florida, then, you know, Temple play someone. And uh, I think we have a great chance to go far. I mean, we, we, uh, we matched up in a pretty, pretty good region to go far in this tournament. How do you handle the short turnaround? I imagine you guys will be flying out either Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. So. Uh, it's just something, just something you got to just switch gears and get ready for. I mean, uh, at this point, uh, it's March Madness. I mean, anything can happen. So I think we're just excited to, to be in the tournament. I mean, um, and we have a great chance to do great things. So I think uh, great leadership from our seniors. And then it's just time to play Cal basketball. We haven't been playing well lately. So it's just time to, to switch gears and finally play well together and um, try to make a run in this tournament. Can you put your finger on why you guys closed so poorly at the end of the season? Um, we just, I think our offense, we haven't executed as, as well. We've been breaking down a lot, a little bit, and um, team's been taking a little things away from us that caused us to break down. So if we just stick to our game plan, run our offense through to motion, you know, little things like that, we'll be, we'll be fine. But it's just executing the offense, that's all I think. What do you think of playing in the spotlight? You know, if you guys would have been in the to play Thursday or Friday, you know, shuffle with four games, your yeah. first four, the national spotlight's on you guys. Yeah, I'm, I don't think it's any spotlight. Like I said now, it's just all basketball. No matter what channel you play on, what time you play, uh, who you're playing, it's all basketball right now. So, I mean, like I said, anything can happen. It's March Madness. We grew up, grew up watching these type of games, and um, I'm just happy to be able to play and be a part of it. As a kid, did you dream of these moments? Exactly, you dream of these moments, and just you know, looking at this, how we happen to be in the last, the last region getting in. So I mean, it was kind of nerve wracking. Like, are we gonna get in? The other 11s go by, you know, 11s, and it's like, okay, so what's gonna happen? Finally, the last region, uh, California, and Florida. So I mean, I was excited, and then you know, getting all the calls from dads and friends and mom. So I'm excited.